love D'Angelo. Meteorological summary today. Ah. As technology continues to grow, some trades are going by the wayside. But one Indiana man is teaching the next generation about his passion in hopes of keeping it alive. Cody introduces us to an Indiana blacksmith as we go crossroads with Cody. It's hard work. It's hot, dirty. You know, it's, it's, it's a lost art. In Atlanta, Indiana, Kurt Fahrenbach is teaching people how to forge their own way. Literally. People kept asking for it. And I taught in a class, and they wouldn't quit. So this is going to be going on for four years, and I just throw challenges at them every week, and they make something. Kurt started manipulating metal at just 10 years old. Now, more than five decades later, he still loves it just as much. It's the excitement is working the hot metal and accomplishing something. And your next project is always a little more challenging, more challenging, and you're never done learning. This is his shop on a Thursday night, full of the next crop of blacksmithers, soaking up every bit of information they can. Trying to learn about basically what could be a dying art. Everybody brings their, brings their own stuff to the table, so, and everybody can learn from everybody else. And those are his youngest students, Noah and Arlo. Just having to work hard and having that sense of fulfillment at the end of the day. I just like hitting stuff with a hammer. In a time when kids spend more time forging forts and video games, they're learning a trade that isn't as common as it once was. More fun than sitting at the house playing video games. You can put your own mark onto it. Make it whatever you want. Kurt says it brings him joy to see a younger generation learning to strike the iron while it's hot. I'm passing the trade on. You know, I won't be here forever. The young ones will be here for a long time, but this will pass it on down the line to other people and keep it alive. And the kids have a plan for their newfound skills. It's something that I want to make a career out of. Nice. It's Kurt's career, so. It's a great, it's a great life. Yeah, you know, it's rewarding just by satisfaction of making something. It's rewarding seeing these guys learn. I can't think of anything else to do. <laughs> In Atlanta, Indiana, Cody Adams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook. Gosh, how cool. So great, Cody. Listen, watching them turn and twist metal up close is like... I mean, I know they're used to it, but it was so amazing seeing them do that and the way that those kids figured it out so quickly. It is so an art fun. form. That is hard work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So kudos to them for teaching the trade. But, like, my goodness, it is an art form. Noah, who had the, the hat and the, the goggles, oh, he was started. So yeah, he was adorable. Started three years ago. So he was really? seven years old and he started uh, doing it. Wow. Here's something really cool. If you're interested in maybe trying it out, this weekend in Tipton, Indiana, which is near Atlanta, they're hosting the Blacksmith Association Conference. Oh. And you can show up to the fairgrounds there, and actually they will give you the, the reins to do a little blacksmithing. So That sounds Pounds amazing. of metal, light things on fire. Hey. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel powerful just thinking about it. Kurt is a super sweet guy, too, and... and just the ability to that he watching him kind of teach mm -hmm. people from 10 years old to 60 years old was was very cool and and him having that passion to want to continue that is mm, very cool. I love